Welcome to Simple IELTS Solutions. This is an IELTS speaking part three question and model answer about rivers and lakes. Rivers and lakes are something that's come up recently for on the IELTS speaking test and some of my students have found it a bit difficult to answer. All the vocabulary will be explained at the end of the video but make sure you pause the video when you see the question and try and answer yourself. And then have a look and see how I have answered. So let's get the ball rolling. How can rivers, lakes benefit local people? So here they're saying rivers slash lakes. So we can talk about either. We don't have to talk about both. Benefit, you know, why are they good? For local people. Firstly, they allow transportation and trade. Many large cities are situated on big rivers and have huge ports to facilitate trade with other nations. Secondly, these bodies of water are often quite appealing and picturesque. So will attract tourists and locals alike who want to spend time hanging out on or around the water. Finally, they are a vital lifeline for so many local people who rely on them for everything in their life and livelihood. If they live on the river, they probably do everything in that water from washing to catching fish. Rivers and lakes are critical to populations and I don't think that will change anytime soon. Let's look at the vocabulary I used there. So firstly, secondly, I said finally, these are linking phrases, discourse markers. They're used to basically tell the reader what's happening. So it's good to signpost what's going on and it makes it easier for you to think about your answer but it also makes it easier for the listener. Let's look at the vocabulary. Waterways. That's a route traveled by water. Could be a river, a lake, a canal. Um, that's a noun, waterway. Beneficial, adjective. So advantageous or favorable. So something that is good, it's beneficial. Facilitate, it's a verb to facilitate, making it easier. So if you facilitate something, you make it easier. A body of water, it's an idiom, because a water hasn't really got a body. So this is an idiomatic phrase. Remember, we want to show the examiner a little bit of idiomatic language so they can put us in that band seven or more bracket for our vocabulary. And that's a large area of water. Lifeline, it's a noun. And that's something that keeps you alive. So a lifeline could be something that ties you to a rock face when you're rock climbing or keeps you on the boat when it's rough. And livelihood, livelihood is a noun. And that's a way of getting the things you need to survive. So it's usually your job or something like that would be your livelihood. So there we have it. That's my IELTS speaking part two answer about rivers and lakes. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and also to share it with anyone else you think it would help. If you want more help with your IELTS speaking, then check out this video here. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.